Hi again then guys and welcome to another speed tune of course for Forza Horizon 4 and this one is a bit nuttier of course being a, a Cadillac limo rather than the more supercar level stuff that we usually have but I think this one could be a lot of fun in a similar way to the big trucks and the Mercedes Unimogs and that kind of stuff because it's so stupid that it actually becomes fun you know you're in a, an online cruise with your friends and suddenly you break out a, a 250 mile an hour limo I mean if that's not fun, what is? <laughs> so, as you'll have seen from the intro card on this video, I'm really encouraging new people on the channel, if you do want to keep up with my other tunes, to make sure that you hit the notification bell. Because if you don't, YouTube has shown me, based on my analytics, that a lot of people are not seeing my new videos because they haven't hit notifications. So there's not much point in following the channel if you don't have notifications turned on. Now, as far as the tuning on this car goes, if I recall correctly, I think this car has the V12 engine swap with around 1500 horsepower. If it's not that one, it's something close to that, but you get the idea. I'm pretty sure it is that V12. And incidentally, if you want to grab this tune and just get it straight on your car instead of doing it yourself, use my gamer tag in the top left of the corner, or top left of the screen even, and you can find it easily. Or just use, you know, the, the search tag HSG. I put HSG in the title of all of my tunes anyway, so you should be able to find it. That's if you want to just, you know, jump straight to the chase and get the tune. If you want to do it yourself though, then of course this is the method for you. Now as far as the upgrades, of course it's a big limo, so you want to drop the weight as much as you can, you definitely need all-wheel drive, and of course upgrade the power as high as you can with the engine swap that I mentioned earlier on. And as far as all the rest, I'll leave stuff like the rims down to you because it doesn't matter too much. Don't fit the front and rear wing unless you want to because that doesn't help the speed. And as far as all the other parts, just for everything racing, the brakes, suspension, transmission, the diff, fit all of those things. Then as far as the gearing goes, you want a final drive of 3.5, then individual gears of 2.9, 2, 1.5, 1.17, 0 0.95 and 0.76, which is a fairly recurring theme in many of my tunes. That tends to be a setup that works fairly well with a little bit of you know, final drive adjustment with quite a few different cars. As far as the alignment, we've got one degree of camber. You don't necessarily need that for this one, but give it a try, see what you think. Caster angle is variable. Let's go high for this one. You could have it neutral as I already did. The choice is yours. Anti-roll is on 35 and 30. Springs on 235, 175 and the lowest ride height. As far as the dampers, we've got 14, 10, 6 and 5. Aero, as I said, does not apply unless you fit the wing. If you want to have the wing on the car just for the looks, which I personally think it looks pretty stupid, but if you want to fit the wing just to be stupid about it, then make sure that these settings are as low as possible, because otherwise you'll lose some top speed. And as far as the diff, we've got 100% bias on acceleration, zero for decel, and actually a surprisingly close to centre split, only 56% in favour of the rear, and the reason for that is to help the launch. And obviously one of the main differences between tuning something like this and a normal car is the wheelbase being so long totally changes the way it launches off the line. So ultimately, that's it for the tune. The specs look very good, especially for a limo. I mean, 256 miles an hour is borderline supercar territory. In fact, that is as quick as my McLaren Senna, which is insane. So if you do want to try the tune, of course, do it yourself or grab it from the storefront. But what we need to see is in a race, can it actually hit those speeds? Now, as far as actually hitting the benchmark speeds, this one is one of those that needs basically a perfect road in order to actually hit 256, which is why I didn't put that in the thumbnail. You can get 253 out of it though, which is pretty close. And as far as limos go, anything above 250 is pretty insane anyway. <laughs> as far as the handling, it's shockingly good actually in terms of what you would think it would handle like compared to what it actually does. It easily handles stuff like the racing trucks, which is impressive again for a limo. Plus it's such a silly car to use. So you can definitely have a ton of fun with this car and with this tune. And I hope you do just that. So of course, if you do plan to follow the channel and check out my other Horizon tunes, and I've done loads of them, hundreds of them at this point, then as I said, be sure to hit the bell. Otherwise you'll miss my new videos. But overall, that's it for this build. Grab it from my storefront or copy the video yourself. And until next time, I'll see you then. But for now, as always, thanks for watching.